Well, now that is a surprise. <laughs> it is actually kind of comedic, really. This guy was introduced way when uh, Senku was, well, introduced to the Ishigami village before he even knew it was the Ishigami village. And the guy stuck out because he had no name. And now it turns out that he's even lampshaded. He literally had no name because he's not from Ishigami village. And he was a member of the power team, and yet we didn't even see him. Ha 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 ha. I thought it was some kind of weirdo or some kind of gag, because after all, let's face it, he did look kind of weird. But no, he is just a shy man that came from something else. Perhaps another village? Well, we'll see, won't we? The Angry Anime Fan, the Despair Reviewer here. And this is Dr. Stone, chapter 101. Senku says they need to go to... Uh, the treasure box that is on that island. As we see the flashback back on when the, the astronaut team said, uh, looked at the ring of the diamond, they this, he decided that they should uh, collect all the precious minerals of humanity into one single place where they will sleep silently until the scientist appears, which will be passed on by two in the hundred stories through the its poetry. So Senku, at that time when he became chief, decided to ask uh, uh, Ruri about um, the Hundred Years story and its uh, everything else. But she warned him that it had to be resolved. And so during the night she kept talking to Senku about the Hundred Years story. And the thing is though that even as night passes she only came to the 8th chapter. Meaning the Hundred Years stories were about a lot of information. And according to Senku, this is one of the reasons why she got pneumonia. Maybe she focused herself so very much that her immune system, uh, well, got low. Because, well, that's just how it must to do. That's how important the Hundred Year Stories were to other people. But Senku wanted merely to know the, in the stories about minerals. After all, a lot of the people in Ishigami village are made after minerals. So Ruri begins to explain the different of the Kohaku, the amber, a transparent sparkling sun colored, the king of the gold. But many of them were, they sleep in the treasure chest. It sleeps in the treasure chest. So Senku asked finally about platinum, and even that slept in the treasure chest. Because it turns out to Senku, what Senku is after is platinum. Platinum is a super ultra rare mineral, scarred in gold and more valuable. However, uh, according to him, it will be a perfect catalyst for making nitric acid. So, if they can find platinum, it will in create an infinite re revival formula machine. So, um, but uh, according to but then Koako asked, why didn't they make little by little? And the car and the, the reason for that is because it takes a l very long time to do this kind of formula. And also, they could only revive 150 people with that formula. If they keep on reviving that with that kind of formula, then... Uh, uh, added with that kind of formula, then it will mean that... Uh, people may have different opinions on the revival of the other people, because people's opinions are different. However, if everyone can be re revived at the same time... Uh, without anyone waiting for the other one to be revived, then uh, there won't be any Hyuga-chan or Tsukasa-chan as Gen says it to be. With that formula they can revive humanity immediately, nor do it, so they don't even have to make to do that. And in order to do that they need to find the treasure chest, because it turns out even Platinum sleeps in the treasure chest. And what is the treasure chest? Well, it's none other than the space capsule that uh, that uh, Byakuya and the other one used. The space shuttle Soyu 2, or Soyuz, I guess. And here's the thing is that uh, I pointed out last time, shouldn't that have been rusted or faded away through time? But according to Senku, 3,700 years is not enough for something like that to break apart, simply because of this kind of logic. A space shuttle can withstand the falling uh, t temperature of the atmosphere despite the fact that uh, well 
it, it fear falls, falls, and falls. Meaning that if you cannot break from far, far, far high attitude, then it should not be rusting that quickly. So if they find the space shuttle and if they find platinum, they can use that as a cataclyst to create a new revival formula. But first, they need to find the island. And we see the inside of the ship that also looks modern. And during the, this time that the one person that we haven't seen in a long time appeared. And he is actually, this is actually kind of funny. Turns out that this guy is a member of the power team. You may recall, as I said at the beginning of this review, a guy that had no name unlike the other Shigami one. He looked scary because he had no hair and he had an X on his, well, you know, f uh, head that is bald. And uh, here's even lab shaded by Senku. He wonders, who are you again? I cannot remember your name because it turns out this guy do not have a name! <laughs> he looked incredibly creepy. And not to mention, he looked kinda old, but now it almost is implied he is actually younger than he looks. And he was even a member of the power team. Ha <laughs> ha We haven't seen this guy since, well, like the very first one. And now he's a member of the power team. <laughs> That is so funny. Because now it ta talks. The reason why he doesn't have a name is because he's not from Ishigami village. When he was young, he somehow washed up on the shore of the beach where his foster parents of Ishigami village took pity on him and raised him and then lied to say that he was their child. He lived on without a name. But for some reason, he actually knows his real name. It's just, however, that his real name was not fitted in the Ishigami village that are all named after minerals Me, because uh, his real name is Soyuz the same name as the space shuttle and uh, he can lead the way to his birthplace where the treasure chest Soyuz sleeps because it turns out the treasure island may not be uninhabited after all Okay, this is a surprise. There might still be descendants of the Ishigami village on uh, the treasure island. And uh, why did Soyuz do go there? Hmm. I mean, let's think about this logically. There have been some pointed out that uh, for Byakuya and the other to repopulate the world with many things like this, even and not inbreeding, seems to be kind of strange, but... Uh, there have been some counting out that it is not unlikely, it's just very difficult. So now I'm beginning to wonder, is there some survivors of uh, those descendants still left on that island? No, that cannot be the case. Hmm, I mean this is kind of complicated. Granted, Byakuga and the others did live on that island before, so if there are any one of them their previous descendants there, that shouldn't be too surprising. What is surprising more is how many was there and uh, didn't that become any inbreeding? But yeah, the guy, the, the bald guy with the scar is revealed to name Bisuyus. He hasn't been seen this entire manga, we have practically forgotten him, even it's lampshaded in the manga and now he is on this journey. Things are getting interesting. I'm looking forward to see what we'll see there, because it turns out before we get to the Y-Man arc, we may have an arc in the treasure island of the Soyuz. So give me your thoughts if you have any.